Today I'm going to show you how to use duct tape to decorate your room. Today we reached 1.5 million subscribers here on SoCraftastic. I'm so, 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 so excited. Thank you so much. For any of you who are new here, my name is Sarah and this is the channel called SoCraftastic and we do a lot of DIYs here. I post a new video every single Friday. As I mentioned at the very beginning today, I'm going to show you some duct tape projects. There are three easy room decor projects. Three. I haven't done duct tape in a while and actually some of my first videos here on So Craftastic were duct tape projects such as a duct tape wallet so if you haven't seen those videos I will put a link to the playlist, a duct tape playlist, I'm saying duct tape a lot in the description box below. Okay I want to make this intro as short as possible so if you have not subscribed yet please do so by clicking the subscribe button down in the corner there and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Now let's get on to the tutorial. One of the easiest ways to dress up a desk is with a pretty pencil holder. These are very affordable as well because I'm using a plain old tin can for the base. Just make sure that the can is clean and dry before you start, then wrap it with a few pieces of duct tape. Once that's complete, you can leave it as is, or you can add some spice by doing ruffles. You're just going to choose another color of duct tape and fold the adhesive over like I've done here. But also leave some stickiness so the tape will be easier to work with when you put it on the can. Now you're going to create wave-like shapes by folding the tape back and forth. Try to get the overlapping pieces to be as equal as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Also, don't worry about making this piece long enough to fit around the entire can initially. It's easier to use a few pieces to form the ruffles and join them together right on the can with a small scrap of tape. At the end, you're going to cut a long, thin strip of duct tape in the same color to tame the ruffly look and wrap that tightly around the top. You can customize these cans however you want, add any color and pattern, and you can do multiple ones or add a design on the can. I made my second one really colorful, as you can see. And when they are complete, you can use them to store pencils, pens, markers, or even duct tape flowers. I do have a tutorial for the roses, by the way. I'll put a link in the description box below. Next up is a duct tape painting. You're going to cover a canvas panel or a piece of cardboard with overlapping strips of duct tape. If you cut rectangles off each corner like I've done, it'll be easier to fold everything over to the back and secure it down. So once you have stuck all that onto the back, then you're going to choose an image. This can be hand drawn or it can be something that is printed from the internet. I drew a cupcake with thick lines to fit in the middle of my canvas. Now in order to transfer the image to the tape, you're going to stick some pieces of that tape onto a piece of wax paper and use clear tape to hold the cupcake or whatever image you might have down to the tape. Then you're going to use some sharp non-stick scissors to cut around the entire outline. The wax paper should peel off the back fairly easily, it might take a minute to get it started and then you'll be left with a duct tape sticker. In my case, it's a cupcake silhouette. Next, I'm cutting out the bottom part of the cupcake, just the white parts. You want to get rid of the outline. And with the shape, I repeated the same steps as before to get another duct tape sticker. Then I'm moving on to the frosting, which will really bring the cupcake to life once I get that sticker and I place both of them on top of the black silhouette. Ooh. 
I also added a cherry and cut out tiny flattened ovals to use as sprinkles. If you have a cutting board and X-Acto knife, you could just skip the wax paper and cut out the shapes that way instead, but using scissors is easier for me, so whichever way you want to do it. And finally, I'm going to show you how to make a mini duct tape dream catcher. For this, I'm actually using the cardboard circle from a new roll of duct tape, and I'm cutting out the middle to leave a thin border all around for the hoop. Now I'm going to wrap thin strips of duct tape around this until it is completely covered. And then for the next step, I'm using embroidery floss to create a web pattern inside. You can see I'm wrapping the string around the outside of the hoop then bringing that back up and repeating it all the way around. If you want a more in-depth tutorial for this part, you can watch my full-sized Dreamcatcher tutorial, which I will also link for you in the description. Personally, I think this part is pretty easy though. You're just gonna continue to put the string over one piece and pull it up and back through until you reach the very center of the dream catcher. At that point, you're gonna tie a couple knots to secure it and cut off the excess string. Finally, you can actually create feathers out of duct tape as well. So here I have these pieces of duct tape. I just folded it in half basically so there's no stickiness showing. And then you're just going to cut out a shape of the feather. You can use a template if you want and put a piece of paper shaped like a feather on it. And once you do get your feather shape, you're going to use scissors to just cut fringe all along each side of it. Well, both sides of it. And once you do that, you can cut out little triangles and you can also angle each piece, just like cut the top corner of each fringe. It kind of takes a while, but then it will be very feathery looking. And you take an X-Acto knife and just very lightly cut a line down the middle so it only goes through one layer of tape. And then I hole punch the top and all you do here is just tie string and attach it to the bottom of the dream catcher. And I wanted mine to be really simple, but you could add way more if you wanted to, a lot more strings and feathers, and you could add different chains or anything that you want to dress it up. That's all for this duct tape room decor video. If you want me to make another one in the future, give this video a thumbs up and also let me know which project from this video is your favorite in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching and another huge, huge thank you for your support, all 1.5 million plus of you. What? I just had a moment of no words. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more duct tape more regularly or just every once in a while, let me know what kind of projects you want to see. If you guys are interested in seeing my giant dream catcher tutorial, I'm going to put a bunch of videos in the i button up there and they're just going to come down when you click it. So I'll put this. It's not looking its best right now. It had more feathers but I brought this out and Leo finds this anywhere that I put it. He will jump on the wall and just take the feathers off of it so I have to hang it up really high next time. But he's been eating the feathers today. I think there are some missing. But now I have two. I'll also have a link up there to these duct tape rose pens and I'll just have my entire duct, la duct, duct tape playlist uh, there and in the description box below. And also in the description I'm going to have all of my social media links. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. And I'll post, I post pictures on there regularly and I give you guys some updates, sometimes sneak peeks of what I'm doing in future upcoming videos. And if you guys want to send me a craft or show me a photo of anything you've made, then you can use hashtag SoCraftastic on Twitter and Instagram especially because I like to check that hashtag on there. 
I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I might see you early on next week for a bonus video if I get a chance to make another one. But if not, I will definitely hope to see you back here next Friday for a new Crafty Friday DIY. Alright, goodbye. I just felt the urge to knock these all down, but I don't want to pick them up. And there's a mess behind these, actually. My desk is a mess right now. Oh, these. These are not easy to juggle. What is wrong? Oh, something fell. <laughs> Ow. That about bent my nail back. Ow. So, there's noise outside. Well, 